Well, it's cold out here. With the wind chill factor, I'd say it's probably in the low to mid-teens. I need to be well aware of the signs and symptoms of hypothermia at this point. They range anywhere from mild to life-threatening, and they cause the body to uh, mental and physical abilities to be impaired. With mild hypothermia, the patient's going to get what we call the umbles, where they stumble, they fumble, they grumble and mumble. Moderate hypothermia, the umbles get worse and they start to shiver uncontrollably at this point. When the, it gets to the point where they're at severe hypothermia, the shivering stops completely because they're no longer able to maintain and generate normal body temperature. We need to handle this patient very carefully, get them out of the cold, wet environment, activate the EMS system by calling 911 or your local emergency number, and then we want to remove any wet, cold clothing, and then cover them, insulate them from the ground, keep them warm, cover their head and the neck to maintain some normal body temperature as close as you can. Make sure that you keep them as calm as possible while you wait for help to arrive, and do not give them anything alcoholic to drink. This will just reduce their chance of surviving. It's always important that you go and you actually get trained from a certified CPR and first aid instructor. I'm Kevin Young with Young Hearts Education, and we're building confidence through knowledge.